No. No. No, I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> He's like, I'm not going in there. It's great. Just let them all know where we are, honey. All right. Detected by whom? Stop trying to hurt my dog. The hell's that supposed to mean, dude? You and your frost spells. Another puppy left in me here. Don't come over here. Fight him. Get him, boy. Ah. Ah! Moving too fast for me, man. Right in the nipple. Huh. You're a guy who's up there. You're probably important. Ow! Get him, puppy! I might not be as powerful as you, but I know two words. I'll give you a couple of real choice ones here in a minute. <laughs> How does that feel? Are we the last one? Does it go on further? Whew. I know she didn't get hit much because she's, you know, running away, so it might not seem that tense to you, but, uh, you know, she came in here with only four minor healing potions and, um, didn't realize it was just going to go on and on and on and on and on. So it was pretty scary for her. Let's see if I can find all the bodies. 
This is like, I give up! Too late. Alright, I search you guys. Music is still really creepy though. I was wondering where he was. Um, you know, I think uh, she already knows that that enchantment and it's really not worth a lot, um, especially considering how heavy it is. So I think she'll just leave that behind, actually, instead of trying to shove it into her bag. It's ginormous battle axe. Splash! Oh, I thought there was a body up here. A few pieces. Is there anything in the water? Oh, it's not even that deep. Nope, just going for a swim ish. Glad I checked. What am I wearing? Oh, mighty Talos. Thank you for your blessing. And it's good because it'll help her with her shouting, which she's supposed to be honing. She's been trying to. I'm done searching leathery, nasty bodies for loot. Alright. What else could there possibly be? Oh, I see a trap on the ceiling. Changed. She deserves it. She busted her butt for this loot, right? Nearly died. Repeatedly. Ooh. A wall thing. Maybe she can learn a new dragon word.
certainly feels that way. She can hardly wait to figure out how that works. Ooh, I wonder if. Wonder if. I'm not really sure that was for the glory of the gods. Uh, praise Zenithar, right? Because there was gold and stuff. She's trying. I wonder if there's anything down here. The water is really shallow. Hey, there's a chest! I think she stubbed her toe on it. She's like, ow, what the hell is that? Cool. That was worth getting a little damp for. Maybe something else, but the visuals are starting to bug me. Cause it's not deep enough to really go underneath, but it's not that shallow either. All right. Back to the barrel. Oh, hey, I, I bet she'll come out that door that she slept by. Which means... Oh no, this is a different door. Okay. Here it is. All right. Well, she wasn't just on the other side of uh, of a rock door of all of those bad guys, but uh, she's now realizing she was sleeping a little closer to them than she would have liked. Luckily, they're dead now. All right. Eh. All right. Didn't notice about ingredients. Did she pick up anything new? Hey, a chicken's egg! That was pleasant. Protein. Let's see what she can make before she heads out. Resist fire! This place is creepy though, seriously. I think she's ready to get the hell out of here.
Back to civilization. Nice purple sky. It's 11 p.m. That was a product. Wow. Look at that. Just look at it. Just look at it. It's gorgeous. What the hell? <gasps> Man. When I see one of the moons looking so gorgeous like that though, it always makes me think of um, of Mass Effect and uh, just being in the Mako and like coming over top of one of those ridges and then whatever world or moon or sun is nearby, it's just, you know, it's like it's right there. It always reminds me of that. Which is not an insult. I realize Mass Effect is an older game and the graphics weren't as good. It, like that's the, the emotion that that I feel when I look at like that awe of how beautiful it is and the realism. It's just gorgeous. It's just freaking gorgeous. That's all I have to say about that. All right. You okay, horsey? Yeah? At least it stopped raining, huh? It's a nice night. Here, have an apple. I'm gonna make sure it's not one of those five nasty apples I picked up before. I have three good ones left. I'm gonna give the horse one of those. Here you go, baby. You have an apple. That's for you. You're welcome. I'll sell these five nasty apples. I don't know why anybody would buy them, but... Welcome to the Villamir Inn. If there's anything I can get you, just let me know. I need to sell you five nice antique apples. Now that our ghost has been unmasked, I hope we see more visitors in town than just the occasional pilgrim. Yeah. Yeah, you'll have to spread the word. You have to spread the word as well as you spread the word that it was haunted since you probably scared most people away. Take a look. These apples are special. Okay. And uh, I guess uh, another batch of logs completely. If you broken. pass through again, stop by for a drink. I hardly think the bears are clever enough to hold a grudge against you, Miss Temba. <laughs> when I want your opinion, I'll ask for it. Pardon me, my lady. Would you care to hear me play my lute? Don't be so mean to him. He's a really nice guy. Miss Temba so angry. I know. I hope you can do something about them. What's the point? Maybe I will just for I'm you, buddy. Really good, and it's only for the same few people every night. That was really mean. These damn bears are driving me crazy. It would be a shame. I think you're just bitch, actually. I suppose it's the least. Do I still have this bed? Wait, which bed was mine? I don't remember. Can I rent a room or do I already have one? Need a room? Maybe a drink? A room. You sure thing. Okay. It's yours for a day. I wasn't sure if I still had one here or not. I'll show you to your room. Right. I guess way. I never got one, did I? Because I slept in the um in the barrel like an idiot last night. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Thank you. You could get rid of that Temba chick. Being mean to all the nice people. Take off my boots and my gauntlets. Put on some nice comfy robes.
and maybe have a little bit of a lion. That's hard work, killing all those Draeger. Especially considering she did it on a whim, you know? It wasn't really her plan. Just like, oh well. Maybe I'll uh, try on my leather outfit here. <laughs> my leather outfit. Not that kind. Eh. Have you spoken to I like the fur better. No, I'll tell you, Wilhelm. It's... He'll tell you, Wilhelm. Yeah, all, all in all, I get three extra points of armor protection, but then I get 20 extra points of health. I could sweep her away from here tomorrow. That's just nicer. I, I just like that better. Clemic still has so much to learn. Klimic is doing just fine. Klimic. You should follow your heart. Ah, oh, Klimic. Perhaps one day, but not today. Klimic. I need to tell him that I took care of that thing. He probably figures I just Those bears took... making Miss Temple so angry. I know. I hope you can do something about them. Here for work? Get an axe and bring me all the wood you can chop. I'm working for you. Mean. Why don't you just not talk to her, Gwillen? Just talk to nice people. I think she made him sad. All right, where's Klimek? Uh, he works on this farm down here, right? Think. No. Have you seen Klimek? Never settle down to have children. Think twice before you do it. <laughs> I hope everybody thinks twice, at least. No. Hmm. Cluck, cluck, cluck yourself. Have you seen Klimek? Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Hrothgar. I walked right past him. It's nearly ten. He should be up by now. Hmm. Maybe he's hanging out over by the bridge again. Guess I didn't look that close. Stormcloak murdered the High King with his voice shouted in the heart. I've heard that too. He wasn't in the inn, was he? Did I walk right past him? Well, here's his house. I guess I should check. I don't know why I'd be in there at ten in the morning. Welcome to the Villamir Inn. If there's anything I can get you, just let me know. Klimek, you can get me Klimek. Maybe he went out of town. I mean if he was home at ten AM he probably wouldn't have his door locked. So that's why I figured. You don't look like a pilgrim. I know, honey. What? That's why I figured he must be out and about somewhere. But I guess I'll just have to find him another time. I don't know where he could be. Staying safe, I hope. Well, not exactly. 
Hey, have you seen Klimek? Have anything interesting to tell me? What a strange way to start a conversation. I wish I could go with you. <sighs> okay. Have you seen Klimek? You must be another pilgrim on the way up to High Hrothgar. Mm. No other reason to pass through here. Well, I actually already went there. Also took care of your uh, your ghost problem, if you didn't know. Looking for Klimek right now, though. Sure, leave. Everyone else does. Somebody didn't have her Wheaties this morning. Okay. Well, I think I'll go ahead and um and save it here. And uh, when I come back, probably just give up looking for Klimek. I'll come through here another time. I can leave word with the rest of the town that uh, that I took care of his thing. Gwilin will tell him, won't ya? Ooh. Gwilin, tell Klimek I delivered his supplies to High Hrothgar. Hello, my friend. What can I do for you on such a fine day? You can tell Klimek... Okay. That I delivered the supplies to the Greybeards when you see him. Okay? Have yourself a great day. You too. All right. Good. Taken care of. Finished. Um, so... Problem. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and save here. It's getting late where I am. And uh, we come back. Decide I what... used to be an adventurer like you. Then I took an arrow in the knee. You probably shouldn't be having a guard job then. Doesn't sound like you'd be able to do it very well. And uh, maybe by the time I get back, I will have named my horse. I keep forgetting to think about it. And um, maybe we'll actually get a chance to look at that mod. I didn't realize it was going to spend the entire time. I didn't realize uh, the barrel was going to go so deep. Um, but uh, yeah, see, I remember to tell you I was I was stopping. It's, I'm getting better. 